Do you want me to go north, all neuroscience on you, or like? No. How has even neuroscience changed? Uh, people don't really, can't really argue, uh, do emotion, emotional situations. What are you talking about? How's it going? I'm great. Good, good. Um, I have a question about immigration. Okay. So I'm a legal immigrant. From what country? Uh, Mexico. Oh, okay. Yeah, and I, I was, got out of the Marine Corps too. Okay. Uh, so would I be accepted here? Did you come the right way? You came legally? Yeah, I came legally. So you were born in Mexico? Yeah. Oh, that's super rare. Wow. Yeah, I mean, look, uh, that's, that's How is that not... How's that why is it rare? Yeah. Because most people from Mexico come into the country illegally? I don't think that's... Eight million people in the last two years? How many legal immigrants from Mexico have there been in the last two years? Probably 100 to 200,000? A couple million, but... Not, not a couple million. How, how are no. we getting those numbers, though? Uh, from the federal government. Eight million illegal people crossed into our country the last two years. Now, I'm complimenting you for coming here legally. Is that more than the legal? Uh, Why is this student playing games, bro? Why is the student playing games? If 8 million came in illegally, how would that be less than 200,000 coming in legally? Like you're, and I, even if you, even if you question why, how he got the numbers, I think that's a fair question. How did you get the numbers? He told you the federal government and your response was, uh, it's a couple million. Even if it's a couple million, that's still less than 8 million. Jesus. Uh, yeah, so illegal is about 1.2 million total green cards administered every single year, worldwide, globally. Is that is that Mexicans or people coming from Mexico? Well, that's that's a good point. Not everyone. It's from Mexico and everyone's Mexican. That's a good point. Okay. Yeah. No, I was just asking. No, that's actually smart. So it's probably more like one out of eight are probably from Mexico. So that's still about a million. But I'm not criticizing. I'm just complimenting you. Actually. Are you all for uh, diversity, right? No. I said, wait, so legal... Immigration is bad. If right now, we have way too much legal immigration. Yeah. Way too much. 1.2 million? It's way too much. Yeah. Yeah. But, okay, how about let's backtrack a little bit. Okay. Diversity is bad. Well, diversity can be bad, yeah. Why? Well, because what if everyone's strangers with one another? Speaking different languages and has nothing in common. How is that a country? They can learn. Are they? Yeah, they are. A lot of people learn. Is Elon Omar, is she assimilating to the American experiment well? Uh, is that a congressman? congresswoman? Yeah. Um, Has Elon Omar bought into the American ideas? I think so. The problem with this student is that he thinks America is some type of Disney dreamland where he thinks everyone should be able to do anything and every single language under the sun should just be walking around and we should just be frolicking in the sand with every different nation and national or nationalism or whatever. All I'm saying is, if you look at any single country right now that's a powerhouse, such as Russia, China, even America, we're up there, obviously, all of them have an identity. The problem with having a lot in a super, super, super large, absorbent amount of illegal immigration, and even if you want to look at immigration, I think there's legal things that you can, you know, talk about, but whatever. If you're letting people in who do not have the identity of the American culture, then America in its entirety will lose its identity. Meaning, over time, slowly, we're going to progress into something where we as a country do not have a specific identity. We don't have a specific stance on how we operate. And that could be a problem with having a super large amount of, he wants to call it diversity. I don't call it diversity. I call it immigration. That's a, that's a problem of it. If you have too much of anything, it can just lead to the lack of identity of our nation. Because what would be our nation? Would English be our language anymore? Mm -hmm. would, would, would people still need to have um, social security uh, numbers anymore? If a lot of people are illegal, would they even have it? Mm. Will people pay taxes? Mm. We don't know anymore. But anyways, let's continue. She's, she's a progressive. She's trying to help. Oh, pro so progressivism is an American value? Yeah. George Washington was a progressive? I mean, you can't go all the way to the 19... The countries what? change. The society changes all, all the time. Interesting. So what what in, the, to... what in the Constitution has changed since 1787? Amendments. Uh, there's been a lot of amendments. No, but what has been removed from the preamble or the Bill of Rights? Again, uh, maybe back then 
we couldn't really do anything about the constitutions, but as time moves, we are more adaptable to change. Well, the, hold on, do human beings change? Yeah. We do? I mean, how, how have human beings changed since the 1780s? Uh, technology, I mean... Oh, no, no, technology, want, I'm talking about human beings. Do you want me to go north, all neuroscience on you, or like... Well, no, how has even neuroscience changed? Uh, people don't really, can't really argue, uh, do emo emotional situations uh, at all right now. What are you talking about? You can't do emotional situations at all right now. What? People are very emotional still. We're still humans. Just like in the 1700s, we were humans. What are you talking about? Uh, we're too involved in technology. It's been... We've been changing little by little, although maybe you're talking about like hunters and guns. Well, let me ask you, I mean, so the physicality the, and all that. No, I'm just saying like, are human beings the same raw material that they were in the 1780s? Does like free speech still matter like it did in the 1780s? Like the Declaration of Independence says, one of the course of human events it becomes necessary for one people to dissolve the political bands that have tied them to another. Does that become less true as time goes on? And I'm asking for a no, reason. But that's... Because, the, because our system is built on eternal truths not progressive ideals. So actually the American project is conservative in nature. Elon Omar has not embraced that idea. But anyway, look, going back to the immigration thing. Well, we're you, built with uh, lib liberal ideals. Are we? Yeah. Where? Everywhere. Like, you, uh, democracy? Well, where is democracy in Republic, the United States? Republic? Hold on. Where is democracy in the U.S. Constitution? Where does that word appear? I'm, I'm not... It doesn't. He didn't know that. He didn't read the Constitution. People, a lot of the students who debate you do not know what they're talking about. They know what they hear. They know that they're supposed to be a liberal. They're supposed to be a Democrat. And I'm not saying it's anything wrong with being a liberal or a Democrat. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying there's something wrong with being a liberal or a Democrat or even a conservative or Republican if you can't even conclude or justify why you're that. If I ask you, why do you believe these liberal ideals? And you can't you can't give me a reason without attacking me or saying something that makes no sense, then you're untrustworthy. Same way if I say, why do you believe those conservative ideals? And you can't give me a reason without attacking me or giving me something that makes no sense, I don't trust you. A lot of these students have no idea what they're talking about. Point blank period. They have no idea. All they know is they heard it from the well, a professor or from the news or social media, and they go along with How it. How about in the Declaration? Doesn't even. In the Federalist Papers, it appears only negatively. So democracy is not an American value. I'm pretty sure they're talking about democracy, like what they thought democracy was but back then. What, what, why is, where do you get the idea that democracy is an American value? Because we, we are in a democracy. No, we're not. Democratic state. Who Republican. said that? Which is between the democratic and the monarchy. It's a republic. Oh, no, hold on. That's different. Republic is different than democracy. So you're just like making stuff up. No, I'm not making stuff up. Well, democracy it's... is nowhere in our founding documents. Where do you think republic can... Uh, oh, republic no, republic, can yes. That's a different form than a democracy. Totally different. It's just a rewritten no, democracy. No, no. Republic is you have irrefutable eternal truths that do not change just because the majority wants them to change. Life, liberty, pursuit of happiness, property separation of powers, independent judiciary. A democracy is this. I want to be able to take away their rights because I don't like them. Nazi Germany was a democracy. Was it? We don't like the Jews. Give us power. We're going to take their rights away. Hitler was democratically elected. Yes or no? Yes. But I'm so maybe sure democracy isn't great. That... He's making a good point. He's making a good point. Whether or not you support Charlie Kirk or don't support him, you can't deny that he's being fair in his argument. We have a republic, we do not have a democracy. I don't think someone should conclude from that statement that the democratic side, well, <laughs> let me not even say that. I was gonna say I can't even conclude from that statement that the democratic side supports taking people's rights away, but I don't, I cannot say that wholeheartedly. But anyways, Charlie Kirk is making sense.
became a tyranny. Well, no, it became a democracy always leads to tyranny. That's what people, that's what they don't teach in school. Or what re re republic Republics, do. A republic, if you can keep it, does not necessarily. If I mean, the old thing that, the problem with a republic is that if the people no longer want a republic, then it ceases to exist. Is, has that been true throughout history? There's only been a couple republic governments ever, and that was Rome. The Roman Republic yeah. ceased to exist because they didn't want it to be a republic anymore. They, they were there for many years after. As an empire, right? Remember when Julius Caesar took it from a Ro Roman Republic to a Roman Empire? He basically called himself dictator and they became dictator for life. And then you had Roman emperors, not Roman consuls, which were one-year rulers of Rome, right? Isn't that what Trump tried to do? Uh, no. Trump won an election, right? He won an election. Okay, let's... And now he's trying to say Trump tried to be a dictator. I kind of feel bad for these students because it's like you're so brainwashed that you're believing anything that you hear. And this is not for me to support Donald Trump. This is not my goal at all. But you're trying to say Donald Trump was a dictator. He was a president who was voted into office. This is not my personal beliefs. This is a literal truth. We had Congress. We have Congress. We have branches of government. He was a president, a dictator. They are every branch of government. They make every decision. They do whatever they want. Trump was not that. And the fact that we have a, a list of educated students who go around spewing this nonsense is crazy to me. He's supposed to be in college getting... You know, becoming a better member of society. Let's go back to immigration. Okay, sure. You still want to continue? No, yeah, that's I fine. I mean, but it, you cannot bring people into the country that don't share your values and still be a country. You could be something else. You just won't be a country. How do you think this country was? A lot of people. This country was made by people coming from different places. Good point. Freedom. So were we made by settlers or immigrants? Made by. What's the difference? Think about it. Ever asked that question before? It's okay. I'm not trying to put you on the spot, but there's a huge difference. A settler does what? start something new, an immigrant comes to something already built. Which one started America? Um, settlers did. So, so we're not a nation of immigrants, we're a nation of settlers. And yes, we have used immigration as a tool to enrich the American experiment because a lot of people assimilated. The Irish did, the Polish did, the Italians did, the Germans did. We are now losing assimilation as a primary prerequisite. Okay, so do more people speak Spanish or English in California at home, under the age of 30? I'm probably, I don't know. Spanish. And that doesn't mean you're a bad person, it just means that you're losing what a country is, which is borders, language, culture, amongst other things. That's not it. It's making sense. You can't even deny it. But if you have any more suggestions for me, comment down below. I'll see you